after the 87 to 83 overtime loss to Samford, joined by Denver coach Jim Turgeon. Before we get into the X's and O's of the game, and I know we can talk for hours about what went right and what went wrong, do want to ask you about the atmosphere at Hamilton Gym today on Hoops for Education Day, uh, a great energy. And you did have a nice smile on your face when you came out to talk to the kids. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool to have them here. Um, they were here to learn a, bit, a little bit about uh, exercise and nutrition and, and get to watch a basketball game. Um, and they made a lot of noise. The, the only problem with it, sometimes they're making noise at the wrong time. They, they don't know the game. But, but no, I, I, it was about them having fun. If we'd just done our job, they, would have, they could have yelled all the game and it had been good. So Fair enough. Well, you have to talk to the team after an 87-83 overtime loss. What is the message that you gave to the team in the locker room? Well, a couple of things. I, I honestly think that was the first game in two years I've been here that we lost. That we were, I think, we're clearly better than another team. Um, we're very thin right now, and we can make that excuse that we, our substitution pattern's not the same. We get fatigued. We've been playing on the road a lot, and that's my fault. Um, so, but um, we can't. We got to have more than two people show up. I thought. I thought Claire Grit played. Had, came ready to play today, and then Madison Nelson came. She comes ready to play almost every game. But at you know, Nebraska, it was Sam. Uh, it's, it, our game, New Mexico State, it was somebody else. We got, we got to have more people step up. And we're get, you saw the bench scoring. We're getting slaughtered on the bench. And we, got, we need some people on the, on the bench to step up. So it sounds like there's an inconsistency level that you want to address. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, um, you know just, it's, okay, it's okay to lose games. Um, but you always want to give your best effort and try to execute the, thing, the things the coaching staff ask you to do. Uh, and right now, we only have four or five kids doing that. We don't, we don't have uh, – and, and then so then somebody gets in foul trouble, and, and then that's, what, that's where the inconsistency comes. At the end of the games, is it a matter of some players being gun-shy or, or stepping up to the level that, that you want them? What's missing in those closing moments? Well, yeah – we, that back to that inconsistency. Who do we go to? Who you know? Who do you, who? In in the clutch situation, we go today. I thought it was Madison, and Madison came through. Uh, I think she missed just that one free throw. But uh, uh, you got you got to figure out. But you know, the problem is, you know, the real good teams always have that one player they can always count on late in the game. And I don't, you know, sometimes I think it's Sam, uh, but we don't ha we we don't have that right now. And but back it up even far. We we lost this game in the first half. Uh, I thought we really could have jumped on them and buried them. And they gained confidence by staying with us. And I knew right at that second half, I think uh, we came down, messed it up. We, they came down and scored. And then we came down and messed up again. They went, we went down there and fouled the first two possessions. I thought, okay, this is going to be a tough game. And so when they closed the gap early on in the yeah. second quarter. Yeah, I thought that, that was huge. That was very big. You know, at the end of the game, plays can go either way. Um, you know, it would be nice to have a go-to player for sure. Um, but I thought we lost it uh, second quarter and third quarter. Well, looking ahead on the road at Colorado State in a couple of days, and then it's conference play. So what do you want to work out in the last non-conference game to get to where you think you need to be once Summit League play starts? Well, we're, we're fatigued right now, so we got to figure, we figure it out real quick. Got to play on Friday. The thing's different about Colorado State is they play zone. We haven't seen, we haven't seen a zone all year long. And uh, so that'll be different. So we got to handle that zone, and we got to and we got to uh, win the paint on defense. We got to we got to guard better inside, and we got to rebound. We just can't rely on Madison to get every rebound. Um, those are two things. So so some of our there's a few teams in our league that do play zone. So that game will help us prepare for that. And having these seven of eight games on the road, you say it's tiring, but do you think it could help in the long run? Just the the variety of teams that you face. Well, I sure hope so. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we, we did that a little bit by design and a little bit is what the schedule we had. We're out of school right now because of the, we're on the quarter system, so I thought it'd be better to travel when we're on the road. So I, I hope it helps us. Um, we should be road tough now, but, you know, but we just got to play good basketball. We didn't, we're at home today, and we didn't, you know, we didn't play good basketball. Well, we hope that you'll be able to turn it around. We look forward to seeing you back in 2019. We wish you the, the best for the, the Christmas and the New Year's. How will you be spending the, the holidays? I'll be going back home to Topeka to see my mom. So I'll be there with my family. And will the team get a, a couple of yeah, days? Yeah, the team, the team will get a couple of days. They'll leave Friday, Friday night or Saturday right after the game. Uh, 
and then we come back. Uh, we have practice on the 26th, and we play the 28th, so we don't have much time. The girls need a break. We got to somehow, some way, figure out a way and win um, on Friday, and then and then they need a break. Well, I think you got the pieces. It's just a matter of, of getting them together in in the right moments. Yeah, we got we, we got to have more than a couple every game. We just got to put it. We got to put it all together. Sounds good. Well, we look forward yeah. to seeing how it comes together when we see you back here at home in the coming year. But we'll be following you on the road as well. Best wishes, Coach. Thank all right, you. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everybody.